Hey guys, what's up? JK with Porn Reboot here. The usual, driving back from the gym and thinking about how to help more men quit porn. I was actually thinking before this, I was like, JK, is your life boring? <laughs> Why is it that every time you're driving, you're thinking, <laughs> you're thinking about a question a client asked? I don't know. Maybe I'm just obsessed with this. It's all good. Today, I want to talk about counting. And I do want to talk about counting because on my Instagram page, which is actually at Elevated Recovery, I get on there maybe once or twice a week to respond to comments. And this guy, I said something about counting, which was that some of you in recovery need to stop counting. And somebody got super pissed. He was like, you do you, bro. There's no cookie cutter method to quitting porn. And um, he missed the point. I'm probably the first person to admit that there is no cookie cutter method to quitting pornography. I've seen men quit through all kinds of modalities, through mindfulness, through 12 steps, through recovery coaching, through therapy slash counseling. But this video is addressed to men who have been struggling for many years and it's an idea, a concept, that I hope you will explore because it might help you. Now, as I've said before, recovery from porn addiction and masturbation addiction is not an event. It's a process. It's a process because each time you, there are ups and downs, there are different stages that you go through. And all these stages, as I've said before, are measurable. And if somebody is helping you quit porn or you're following somebody who's trying to help you to quit porn and they cannot help you measure your recovery and say, hey, this is where you are and this is what you need to get to the next step. If they can't measure it, then there really is no end point in sight. The problem when you count is you're counting towards something and you're counting towards an event. And that event in your head is the day you are free. The day I'm free of porn. The day I can control my masturbation. And that doesn't work because when you focus on this big event, you actually miss out on the process. You're not seeing the things that are causing you to slip. You don't know when you're even in a relapse. You don't know what your triggers are because the only thing you're focusing on is counting towards that event. Another thing with counting is that it's easy. It's easy to count. That's why almost everything you'll find on social media or on forums or on the internet when it comes to recovering from porn addiction is centered around counting. Because as human beings, we have a tendency to gravitate towards simple solutions. And so there are a lot of people selling a simple solution, which is this count. Honestly, be honest with me, guys. How many of you have been counting how many years have you been counting? Bro, my streak, bro. 90 day streak, six month streak, three week streak, seven, some of you have been doing seven day streaks for God knows how long. So what's the concept I wanna share with you today? The concept I would like to share with you is perhaps the fact that you're looking towards an event is holding you back. And deep down inside, you realize that it is quite challenging to overcome this behavior. You've taken a lot of losses, you've failed a lot, and when you start counting and you get to, let's say, 120 days, 300 days, there's a little bit of pressure, okay? Just explore this with me. I'm not saying that I'm right, and I'm not saying it's for everybody. I'm just saying that it may be a concept that is relevant to you. So you get to 100, 200, 300, whatever days, and there's pressure, and then you end up sabotaging yourself. What happens when you count to a very high number and you fall? Well, you have further to fall. And then what happens to your self-esteem? You negatively affect your self-esteem. You damage your self-esteem because you're counting. So, what if, if instead of counting being the primary method of measuring your recovery, you were using something else. So let's say for instance, you counted to day 70 and on day 71, you slipped. Instead of just beating yourself up, how about when you count, 
and you get to 70 days and then on day 71 you slip instead of beating yourself up you make a choice you get into your recovery journal and you write down why you actually slipped you go back and you figure it out you could be like you know what i had locked down everything for 90 days but i got on pinterest or i got on deviant art or i got on some sort of photo sharing app or website and i saw a picture which triggered me or i was on instagram so you find out what that is and lock that down and the next day instead of the next day being day one the next day is day 71 and you continue to count how about that what if if i were to tell you that if you approached counting in that way that over a 90 day period over a six month period you would have less slips than you do when you're just counting and setting the counter back to one what if i was to tell you that you would feel so much better about yourself if you didn't set it back to zero and you actually realized that each time you were learning that you are in a process a process of identifying what your triggers are a process of identifying all your pain and dealing with it as you move forward this is how you move forward this is one of the ways that some of you who are stuck on counting again some of you not everyone don't be one of those guys in the comments who shows up to bitch about why it's not gonna work for you this is one of the ways that some of you who have been struggling with counting will start making progress in your recovery think about it guys seriously think about it in 2012 when I decided to start blogging and talking about my experiences quitting porn I had just found out that there was this whole world out there of men who were struggling to quit porn and years ago I had already dealt with this I was living my life uh, I was running my company building my organization things were good I realized that if I wanted to talk about this and have some sort of credibility, I would have to find out when it was that I quit and how long it had been. And so I went back and I, I started counting. And it took me a long time to figure out the exact date because the truth is, guys, I actually forgot. And a lot of men who have quit porn, I'm not the only one. There are a lot of guys out there. They're just not talking about it. They're living their lives who've been off porn for many years they forgot if i would ask you hey when did you stop wetting your bed as a kid they're not going to be able to tell me the exact date or when did you stop biting your nails <laughs> you're not going to be able to tell me that so when a long period of time has passed you're going to put it be behind you and the reason i'm telling you that is because many of you don't really believe that you can put this behind you and you don't because you're stuck in this awful cycle of counting and beating yourself up now some people will say jk you know what you make recovery from porn addiction sound very very complex it's not complex it's simple but it's not easy the problem is you have been so used to taking the easy way which is counting you're like oh yeah i'll count i'll count with a whole bunch of guys that makes me feel better about myself because that's what the crowd is doing and when somebody shares with you how recovery works in a different way you're appalled. You're just like, that's, that's so much work. I don't want to do it. And I understand. And that's fine. Maybe counting will work for you. I'm not here to disprove uh, uh, any other method. If it works for you, hey, go for it, you know. But in my experience with all the guys I've worked with, uh, right now, we just hit, as of last week, I've had over 2,000 guys uh, go through the Porn Reboot course. And I've personally worked with over 500 guys. In my experience, I found that some personalities, and you can go back and watch my videos on the five recovery personalities, just search for it on YouTube or search for it on my channel. Guys who have a problem with counting can really benefit from that. That's something I'd like you guys to think about. I'm going to go ahead and get some guests. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle, and I'll see you on the brighter side of recovery. 
Now, for those of you who want to have a chat with me, visit elevatedrecovery.org slash request a call. The link to that is in the description below. I take those calls every Tuesday, and I'd love to talk to you. Make sure you read the requirements before you put in an application, but I do want to talk to you guys. Today, I'm also going to put a link to our private slash secret Facebook group in the description. I really would like you guys to join it as well. We have a wonderful community in there, and I'd like to see it grow a place where you can share your issue and you can get inspiration from other men without worrying about anybody knowing that you're going through this, a discreet confidential group, all right? Guys, have a wonderful day.